Hello everyone. My name is Piyush Sandoja and I am a BTech from IIT Kharagpur and an MBA from Indian School of Business. Mm. With over 8 years of experience in operations and supply chain management, I thought of giving back something to society. And with that aim in mind, I have opened this channel. So guys, the aim of this channel is to provide practical learning through examples of Indian companies. Now this channel is made for number 1 indian mba students number 2 interviewers who are preparing for their upcoming interviews and want a quick shot of knowledge and number 3 people who have just joined a company and want to sharpen their skills as a supply chain manager so without further delay let's continue with this lecture lecture, lecture, lecture. today in lecture 1 we are going to talk about what in essence is supply chain and try to clear out some myths and understand the basic concepts in the simplest way possible with the help of examples from our daily life let me first tell you what exactly in store for you guys in this lecture first we will define supply chain then we'll explain different stages involved in a supply chain and in the end we'll clear out a myth about any supply chain Moving forward let us start with the definition from the next slide A supply chain is a sequence of processes and flows that takes place within and between different stages and combine to fill a customer need for a product One thing that we all know is that a product moves from one stage to another in a supply chain but I would like to stress that everything happens keeping the customer at the center stage that is the only reason i have specially drawn the customer in order to conjure your focus on it a customer's need defines exactly how a supply chain is designed we'll study about the supply chain design in the forthcoming lectures for now let us understand the stages involved on the next slide typically a supply chain has five stages The first stage is that of customers. When a customer needs to buy a product, he or she goes to the second stage to buy it that is retailers. Retailers are replenished by wholesalers and distributors which comprise our third stage. The role of distributor and wholesalers is to aggregate supply from different manufacturers that is stage 4 and distribute it to different smaller retailers. and manufacturers they generally procure raw materials and contractual labor and equipment from different suppliers which comprise the fifth stage a supply chain of any company has either all the five stages or a subset of these five stages depending on the customer's need and supply chain design now let me explain you how all the stages work through the example of reliance fresh stores To start with, Reliance Fresh Store sells everything from fresh vegetables to dairy, cereals to spices, processed foods and beverages to home and personal care products. The supply chain starts from the first stage, that is when a customer comes to purchase a product from Reliance Fresh, which is the second stage, that is the retailer. Reliance Fresh is replenished by a distribution center, which is the third stage. The distribution centers are supplied from different processing plants which is the fourth stage. In the processing plants all the raw food is refined and packed in certain quantities. Now the fifth stage that is the suppliers to the processing unit are packaging material suppliers, chemical manufacturers and bulk raw food from collection centers which are situated at various places near villages though there are farmers who bring their produce to the collection centers but that is not in reliance's scope as that transportation cost is borne by farmers only now the remaining logistics wherever required whether inbound or outbound is handled by reliance logistics in a way The logistics unit which supplies trucks for transportation works as a supplier that is fifth stage for all other stages involved. On a final note 
the scope of reliance control is represented by the large orange dotted bigger rectangle that encompasses all the stages but not farmers now this example clearly lays down the role and placement of different stages in order to fulfill a customer's need now let us move on to the next topic on the next slide in this slide we'll talk about what supply chain is not till now we said that in a supply chain a product moves from one stage to another but supply chain is not just the movement of product or supply from one stage to another supply chain is basically the movement of three things number 1 product number 2 information number 3 funds now let's try and understand the concept better through the next slide here we can already see the five stages involved in a supply chain from customers to suppliers now first we'll talk about the movement of products now we know that raw materials move from suppliers to manufacturers so the flow of product is towards manufacturer as shown by this light green arrow on a similar basis the finished goods move from manufacturer to distributor so direction of flow is shown here continuing in the same way product flows from distributor to retailer for replenishment and finally the retailer sells the product to a customer hence the flow of product happens in this direction from supplier to customer now for every flow of product there is a flow of funds in the opposite direction now when a customer purchases a product he or she pays money to the retailer so this money moves from the customer to the retailer as shown by this dark green arrow similarly retailers pay to the distributors for replenishment as per their contractual timelines the flow is shown like this in a similar way distributors pay to manufacturers and manufacturers to their raw material suppliers so the flow of funds is opposite in direction as compared to the flow of product as shown in the figure now the flow of information is as shown by the maroon arrows we can see that information flow is unbiased to any particular direction and can happen along both directions between any two stages flow of information ensures that all the stages follow the agreed upon timelines in order to optimally fulfill a customer's demand without delay and to reduce the wastage of time and to track an order during different fulfillment stages now we'll be able to understand these three flows through the examples on the next slides the first example that we'll talk about is that of reliance fresh stores and try to understand different flows involved when a customer comes to the reliance fresh store for a purchase now for the sake of our example we'll consider only three stages that is customers reliance fresh stores as retailers and distribution centers along with reliance logistics as truck suppliers also continuing from the last slide the flow of product will be denoted by light green arrows the flow of funds by dark green and flow of information by maroon arrows please follow the arrows that will keep popping up as and when i explain a flow now when a customer comes to a store reliance store provides the product as well as pricing availability and discount offers information through the banners and available executives to the customer the customer transfers funds to retail retail store that is reliance now reliance store conveys information on point of sale data as well as replenishment orders to the distribution center the distribution center conveys the delivery information to the logistics unit for them to provide the trucks on time after that distribution center transfers the products via trucks to the store reliance store transfers the funds to the distribution center after the replenishment 
Now the distributor also provides pricing information and sends delivery schedules to Reliance Store for them to prepare the offers accordingly and prepare the space required for shipment and loading. This example showcases that a supply chain manager needs to consider all the three flows for a smooth output. Now let's solidify our learning from another and the last example on the next slide. Here we'll look into a more contemporary way of purchasing from an online website, in this case Flipkart. Now when a customer purchases an HP laptop from Flipkart, the supply chain includes among others the customers, Flipkart's website and its warehouse, HP laptop distributor and logistics unit. When a customer visits the website, Flipkart provides the customer with information regarding pricing, product variety and availability. Now after finalizing the product, the customer pays for it. Once the order is placed, Flipkart also provides the information on order tracking at various stages of fulfillment. After the order is placed, Flipkart provides the information to HP distributor to prepare the product to hand over to the logistics. Once the distributor informs that it's ready, Flipkart conveys the logistics and the logistics provider sends the delivery boy to pick the product from the distributor and deliver the product to Flipkart warehouse for packing. After packing, logistics is again conveyed to send the delivery boy to pick the product from there to finally deliver it to the customer. Now delivery boy feeds in transit information to logistics and logistics provides the same pickup and delivery schedule to Flipkart. Flipkart pays to the distributor and logistics as per their scheduled payment timelines. Now from these examples, we can easily deduce that the flow of information happens more frequently compared for the other two flows. To summarize, supply chain is nothing but a combination of five stages. Customer need is the most important as it defines exactly how the supply chain will look like. And third, supply chain is the flow of three things, first product, second funds and third information thank you hey guys if you really like my video and want a notification on the next video please subscribe to my channel here and please don't forget to leave your feedback in the comment section below your feedback is very important and please tell me what kind of content you want me to make videos on so until the next video bye bye from my side